Greetings everybody, this is Emily from A Pages in Ink, and today I will be doing my November Owl Crate unboxing. It finally came today. Is it just me? Is it just Florida? Or are the mail people coming later and later and later? Because I, I swear it came while we were eating dinner at like 6.30, 7 o'clock. And usually we get our mail about 2.30, sometimes maybe 4, 5 o'clock-ish. Anyway. Also, it's been cold today. I actually got a chance to wear my boots and my sweater. So I'm a happy camper. I will now open my box. Opening my box with my pocket knife. All right. I think. No, there's one more. I had three of these boxes. You'd think I'd know how many pieces of tape there were. Okay, so the magical moment arrives. Ah! Do you want to... Here. I will do this for you. Ah! Okay, so the theme of November's Owl Crate was, I believe, like mythical like fairy not fairy tale but like mythical creatures mythical creatures urban legends that kind of thing look yeah myths and legends there we go myths and legends i love the front of this for some really weird reason it reminds me of neopets though do you guys remember neopets is neopets still a thing and i'm not gonna bother reading that right now because um The first time that I did a box, I like read the whole card before I looked at anything, and it kind of made me a little less excited. So I'm just going to pick things up and then read the card. So the first thing we have at the very top looks really cool. It's Sleeping Beauty. Oh, it's tea. Caffeine-free tea, Sleeping Beauty. I guess it's... Sleeping tea. Like, it's... it's sleep tea. Tea to drink before you go to sleep. Now, I don't drink tea, but I will give it a shot. Maybe I'll like it. If not, I can always give it to my mama, because she likes tea. Although Sleeping Beauty, I will say, is my favorite princess. Well, was my favorite princess when I was little. Aurora was my favorite princess. I don't really know why, now that I think about it. Maybe it's just because she was blonde, even though Cinderella was also blonde. I don't know. Now my favorite princess is Belle, in case you're curious, and my other favorite Disney heroine, I mean there's a lot to choose from, but I've always liked Belle and Mulan. Okay, I'm going to pick up the next thing now, which is a little card. This is my clockwork castle, which excites me. Is it this? I think it's this. It looks like this. And it looks like a mirror dragon scales on it. So I guess we'll find out what that's about. Is, are you a mirror? Do I get a mirror? Or am I just absolutely crazy? Maybe it's a magnet and I'm just really dumb. Uh, there's a necklace box thing. Oh, it's the Geeky Cauldron. It's the thing from Geeky Cauldron. I saw one of their Tumblr posts about getting stuff from Geeky Cauldron and I like flipped out because... They have awesome things. Where are you? What is this? Open. It's a castle locket, I think. Here. It's all tangled. Woo! It's a castle locket. Opens up. And it's a castle. Kind of reminds me of the castle, like on the inside, it kind of looks like Beauty and the Beast, like Beast Castle, Cast Castle. And I think the magnets are actually falling out. I might have to see about getting that fixed. It's so pretty though. Okay, I'm gonna put that back in my little geeky cauldron bag. We hope you love your necklace. I do. Okay. Colorful Geek, which I think is what this is from. No, that was Clockwork. 
We use Laser King as you wish. So this has the colorful geek. And it's got stuff on it. And it's interesting because, oh, this is why it's Colorful Geek. It's a Camp Half-Blood bracelet, which I actually haven't read this series yet, but it is on my TBR Lightning Thief. It's right there. It's right there. And I'm planning on reading it. I just haven't got there yet. So this is cool. Camp Half-Blood. Yeah. See, I know where it's from. I'm least, at least I know that much. Now, I picked this up at the library and put it down because I was thinking about all the other books that I had at my house and that there's other things I wanted to read before it and I would have to return it before I would ever get to it. But now I actually have it and um, so now I don't even need to worry about that. Because it looked good. There's stuff in here, that's why I'm opening this. It's Rachel Mead. Are these tattoos? No way. I think these are tattoos. Oh, it's a vampire academy. Weird. Huh. It's vampire academy tattoos in a soundless book. I guess because it's by the same author, right? Rachel Mead. Yeah. I believe. This will slip out. Slip! I was honestly hoping for some dragons, but this is totally okay with me. It's so pretty. I mean, it's really small than compared to a lot of stuff that I have, but it's really, really pretty. What do you look like undressed? Oh, I dropped it, but it's just a red book. Rachel Mead. Rochelle Mead. I'm so dumb. Michelle. Rochelle Mead. Not Rachel Mead. I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. These look kind of cool. I don't know where I'm going to put them because I don't do temporary tattoos. They just come off so easy and I'm like, Ming. I want them back. I also don't know about permanent tattoos because they hurt. Alright, so that is that is my empty box now. So let's read the little cardy thing. It's a spoiler warning, so... Spoiler. Cozy up with a whimsical cup of fairy tale tea from the incredible people at Adagio Teas, I think. We sent out four different types of tea. Which story did you receive? So I got Sleeping Beauty. I'm really curious to know what other people got. I can smell it. it smells really good. Maybe I'll just use it to make my room smell nice. We're so excited to have been able to partner up with the Geeky Cauldron for this box. We hope her castle locket necklace helps transport you back to medieval times. You can't talk myths and legends without celebrating Greek gods. And you can't celebrate Greek gods without including Percy Jackson. We hope you love the Camp Half-Blood bracelet created by the colorful geek. One of our favorite mythical creatures of all time are mermaids. So you can be your own merbabe with your beautiful pocket mirror designed by My Clockwork Castle. We're thrilled to be able to offer one of the most highly anticipated releases of this year from best-selling author Rochelle Mead. We know you'll be swept away by the stunning tale of survival based on Chinese folklore. Soundless is sure to be a new favorite amongst fantasy lovers. We also hope that you enjoy the exclusive bookmark and tattoos which feature Rochelle's other popular series. Happy reading and thanks for being awesome, Owl Crate. So, that is the box. This mirror is cute. I'm gonna put it in my foxy bag. Necklace. Okay. I think my favorite thing in the box, besides the really pretty soundless, I'm gonna say is the castle necklace, because it's just super cute. I really hope I can get those magnets fixed, though, otherwise this will not be safe to wear, because it's just going to break in half. I don't think that's her fault. I, that just might be how it ended up being. I like this bag. It says a geeky cauldron on it. That's so cute. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys. Um, I will see you next time. If you haven't already seen it, Go check out Mockingjay. This is like a completely separate 
topic, but I saw it the 19th because there were like late night showings. It wasn't the midnight release, but it was, there was one at 7, there was one at like 10.45, and we went to the 10.45, and it is so good. It is such a good conclusion, and I already ache for another movie which isn't coming. Although, I did see a thing, I don't know where I saw it, but I did see a thing where they were talking about um, possible more like more movies and I was like there's there's no other book she hasn't written any other Hunger Games books so that's gonna be really interesting and I really hope they don't kill the entire thing just by creating a whole new set of ideas um, but I'm not gonna talk about that a whole lot because that's got nothing to do with this box um, so yeah like I said this is on my to be read and now this one is on my t to be read my TBR so there you go. Um, I didn't actually do anything with it. I will see you guys next time, probably this Wednesday, when I will be posting, hopefully, my top five whatevers. I haven't looked. I like to look the day of because I'm a procrastinator. I'm an awful, awful, awful procrastinator. Which reminds me, I need to get working on something for my cousin's birthday. Um, yeah, so I will see you... Then, um, I am currently rereading the Lunar Chronicles series, so you probably won't see any book talk f uh, videos from me for a little while. I know I've been, I, I don't even think I've posted the ones that I've actually recorded because of technical issues and then um, me losing kind of confidence in my ability to talk about books without being like a rambling opinionated mess. Because, yeah, book talks are opinionated. You talk about what you like and what you don't like. But, I mean, I want to have a basis to it and not just the fact that maybe I am not into a specific character type or um, I expect more from it than it can give because people have built it up so much. Um, so, I'm going to try to get back to doing the book talk videos um, hopefully I will also I don't really know if it's technically a tag video but my friend Sasha did a first line sentence challenge thing and I'm trying to get my brother into doing that with me because he's the only person that I know that is nearby that can do this kind of a challenge with me and it, yeah hopefully I can get him to do that um, this minute, this video has already been longer than it should, and I apologize. I like to talk. When I get started, um, I really liked this year's or this month's box, and as I say, I think pretty much every time I do one of these videos, I'm going to be staying with Owl Crate for next month, and I'm probably just going to keep doing it until I feel like I can't put the money forward to it anymore. Like if I move out or if something important like financially that I need to contribute to, like hospital bills, God forbid, knock on wood, you know, don't jinx it. Um, yeah, because they always send really great things. I've gotten three books because I've had three boxes from them so far. Um, I think one of the my most favorite things was my Dauntless bag that I got from the um, first box I got, which was the heroines box um, gotten a lot of stuff since and I enjoy all of them although I do need to find what happened to my oh I know what happened it's right in this little pouch um, which might be where I put some of my cards from now on in my smaller pieces but yeah Owl Crate has awesome bags and my thing just broke off Owl Crate has awesome stuff I said bags. Awesome boxes. There's always some really cool things. None of it, except for the book, obviously, because they say they're going to give a book. Um, I never expect. I never... You know, they always surprise me with what's going to be in the box. And I think that's really important that you, you don't automatically know. And they pick... Uh, I want to call them vendors. I hope that's the right word for it. Vendors that contribute some really cool stuff and have really... Um, what's the word? Really? Top notch is the word I want to use, but that's not the right word. Quality. Quality items. So, 
Thank you, Owl Crate. Um, definitely will be staying on for December, and I believe the December theme is, I want to say, like, believing in yourself, or it's inspiration, I think is what it is. Which is good, because it's not what you would think it would be for December, which would probably be, like, joy, or holidays, or, you know. Um, yeah, I will leave you alone now, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.